hey guys welcome to your third tutorial today we'll be learning about some of the basic concepts that can be asked during your interviews so like let's get started the three things that we are going to learn about are print echo and comments so first thing is print so what do we use print for okay so simple enough we use print statement for printing values on the screen so let's try an example now we'll create a new text file we'll call it print dot php okay. now let's edit it with notepad plus plus so let's write the code now we'll first open with the php tags then we will write a simple print statement print inside the quotes we will write my a is abc simple enough and then we will close the print statement as in we will close the php tags now we will save it now we will check what it shows refresh now we have over here print.php we'll open it it is saying my name is abc simple enough now we will see what echo does now echo is the same thing that is it also prints the uh, data on the screen so let's give it a try now we'll edit the same file now instead of print we will use echo right now again we will save it and we'll say make it xyz so that we know it's working then save it now let's refresh the page see it is showing my name is xyz so basically print and echo are the same but the difference is with <coughs> print we have a return value of one but we don't have a return value with echo that is the only small difference plus we can use print r for printing our arrays but we cannot do the same with echo so that is the only difference otherwise print and echo do the same thing that is printing data on the screen now let's talk about comments what are comments comment is an information that you write in the code for future reference understanding the logic that you have used in the code it is a part of the code that computer does not read okay it is only for your or your team members reference so basically it is the data that you write so that you can understand what logic you have used in the code now there are two types of commenting okay single line commenting and multi line commenting so single line comments are generally used for short explanations or notes relevant to the local code multi line comments are generally used to provide the pseudo code algorithm and more detailed explanation when necessary so i'll show you how to use single and single line and multi line comments so let's open our text editor all right so let's first give it a try for single line comment so what you do is you just use forward slash forward slash and you write whatever you want to line in one line only that because it is single line comment so you write this is a single line comment simple enough you go to the next line you write anything it is not valid that's why it's only single line comment okay now you save it and you see in the browser it's not visible it is just for your reference when you're opening the code and reading the code okay now let's give it a try for multi line comment so how you what is the syntax for multi line comment you put a slash then a star you write like this is a multi line comment i am writing more than one line of code and then when you want to close it what you do is you use a start and then again you give a slash it is that simple now you save it and see these comments are not affecting the code in any way they are just there for your own reference all right so that's it guys 
thank you guys for watching do like comment share and please subscribe you guys provide me the motivation to give you my knowledge in the most simple format i can to help you guys for better understanding thank you so much see you in the next one peace out